So we all know and we're all aware that a discharge line can get extremely hot. But what happens when it gets too hot? That's the real question here. And we're gonna discuss that on this video. Okay guys, just a quick little video on discharge line temperature. It's very important actually um, to check it and it can give you an indication of what's going on with the system. Let's say for instance, you start up a machine day one, okay, and it's running fine and you write that discharge line temp down, the actual line temp, okay? Um, so when you go back and do your PMs, let's say that line temp is now hot or warmer Okay, it can give you an indication of a dirty coil, airflow issues across the condenser, low charge, high superheat, a bunch of different stuff. Um, if the discharge line temp is low, it could be an indication that maybe you're flooding some liquid back to that compressor. Um, and if it's normal, it's normal. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your PMs and stuff. There's a lot of self-contained units I work on, and that's kind of the only way to get an indication of what's happening in the system. We could check our discharge line temp very, very quickly. Um, and I had that discussion with um, another tech I met at the supplier because he used to work on the same kind of stuff or still does. So yes, discharge line temp, very, very important. And 225, as I'll explain when I'm when I'm on the, the site checking, uh, 225 degrees Fahrenheit is kind of your max rule of thumb. You don't really want to go above that because oil starts to break down, okay? It'll lose its lubrication film. And the 225 line temp, okay, inside the internals of the compressor, we could actually be about 75 degrees warmer than that. So we could be up around 300, 300 degrees actual temp inside the compressor. Now the oil's coming into contact with that heat. It could lose its lubrication film, start to break down, okay? Check out the on-site video I made um, checking this out. So I'm just checking discharge line temp here, and discharge line temp could be a window into the sole of a unit uh, for many different reasons, but I'm gonna show you one real quick here. So we have a, an actual line temp of about 180, about 246, we're using 404A. If we look at the actual condensing temperature of this refrigerant, we're at about 102, so we have about uh, 80 degrees of superheat, which is not abnormal for a discharge line. But the line temp is what's the most important here because if we start to approach 225 degrees Fahrenheit line temp, uh, that's not good because the valve, the valves itself inside the compressor could be 75 degrees up to 75 degrees uh, warmer inside. And oil starts to break down, it starts to lose its lubrication film. 225 is a good rule of thumb to go by. If you're up around that temp, you could have some issues within that system, guys. Happy HVAC.